Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you how I've managed to create a home theater in my two bedroom apartment for under a thousand dollars USD. So as you can see, I've got a gigantic screen there. It's actually a 120 inch screen and I've got a projector with a full 5.1 theater setup. And I've been able to get all this happening for under a thousand dollars. Now, you may also notice I don't actually have a TV the only thing I really have is the projector and the projector at the moment is sitting up on top of the console table here <clears throat> now we don't always keep the projector out we only bring it out when we want to watch a movie we do pack it up and put it back in the box so um, that's the way we like to do things but uh, yeah this is just an idea that you can use to see if this works for you but yeah, I'll tell you a little bit about my setup and what's uh, what all the different components involved. And I'll leave all the links down in the description below so you can have a look at what's available in your country and get some tips on how you can also purchase some of these things. So the main part of the home theater is this BenQ 1080p projector. Now I purchased this a few years ago. This does have about three to four thousand hours on it that's the total lifetime i think i've used up probably about half of it now this is the w1070 for all of those you follow uh, projectors so this i purchased for roughly about 600 usd new i know you can probably get some better deals now uh, but and they, i'm sure the projectors also improved in terms of new functions and features so keep an eye out for um, for that. But yeah, so this is something I did purchase new. And it is quite bright. I'll turn the, uh, the light off. And you'll be able to see how nice the screen looks. And the next thing um, are my speakers. And I purchased the Canton 5.1 speaker set. And this is something I actually purchased from, Am from the Facebook Marketplace. So it's a 5.1 speaker set. And here they are, they look pretty nice. We didn't want anything too big. That clogged up our uh, living room space. And so your 5.1 speakers comes with a subwoofer. They sound pretty amazing. They're normally, you think about a thousand or so new, but I was able to pick them up from Facebook Marketplace for about a hundred dollars USD, which I thought was amazing. I know that the center speaker is a little bit dented in the middle, but it still sounds amazing. I haven't had any issues with them all. I've had the speakers for about two years now. And like I said, purchased them used on Facebook Marketplace for roughly about $100 USD. And I thought that was an amazing bargain. Driving those speakers is this amplifier. It's a Yamaha amplifier. It's a full 5.1. It's got HDMI switching. And it does all the latest um, Dolby Digital Plus and codecs that Netflix and Prime, Amazon Prime have, which is the main things we watch. So this is the RXV371. It is an older unit, but I did purchase this for $50 USD uh, on Facebook Marketplace. So another decent buy there. And then uh, some small little accessories. We've also got uh, all the different you know, Chromecast and things plugged into the back of this. And uh, Google um, Home uh, Audio as well, also plugged into the back. Now the next thing is the uh, the screen. So this is a screen that I actually purchased off eBay for about uh, about forty USD. It's a one hundred twenty inch screen. It is a stick on screen. We do take this off when we are not watching anything. And as you can tell, there are some lines in there as a result. But that doesn't matter when we turn the lights off and actually watch the movie. It doesn't really bother us. But it is a stick on screen, so we can actually just come here. And just. Uh, take this off, um, fold it up, keep it in the cupboard, and then bring it back out when, when we want to watch something. So it actually does pretty work pretty well with the room aesthetic as well. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty spectacular when, um, when you do watch the movies on it. So I'll play something on it now, and you can see what it looks like. Just turn the lights off. Hey Google, turn the lights off. So here's a look.
look at the projector. I'm playing the a, a trailer of the Grand Tour on Prime. Let's increase the volume. Yeah, it's amazing, amazing watching all this on our 128 screen. So there you go, that's a quick look at my uh, home theatre. Let me know if you have any questions, I'll leave all the links down in the description below. See you later.